The Farmer's Almanac has been forecasting long-range weather since 1818. They don't use meteorology in their predictions. Their forecast is based on astronomy. And there is something to be said about sunspot activity and the planet position, the effect the moon has, and how it all comes together. Editor Peter Geiger says the specific technique and formula is top secret. But this year, the Almanac is calling for winter to flip and flop. The frosty flip-flop winter, well, that's not necessarily a meteorological term but it's a term that people can, can relate to. It flips, it flops, it changes, it comes and it goes. Overall, Geiger expects wintry weather in Colorado to prevail and average out colder and snowier with plenty of snow in the mountains for skiers. He's predicting snow in the first week of December, but a mild Christmas. He has January as the snowiest and coldest month with a possible blizzard and lighter snow and milder weather in February. NOAA's winter forecast does not predict weather for specific weeks, but their forecast for December, January, and February looks quite a bit milder. They are predicting a 33 to 40 percent chance for above average temperatures in Colorado, while their forecast for snow shows the odds favoring an average winter. NOAA is basing their forecast heavily towards the development of another La Nina. They say the connection between ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific and winter weather in the U.S. is becoming more and more reliable. Geiger says La Nina is not part of his forecast. He admits the farmer's almanac weather method is different, but he says it's still science and can claim many recent successes like last year's Texas cold snap and Hurricane Ida. I'm not critical of the, of the local guy and I'm not critical of Noah. I think we, we, we all have our role in weather. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.